Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be going through the process of painting my most recent watercolour painting. Now I normally start off by drawing from the left to the right, uh, if, I'm, if you're right handed apparently it's the best way to work, but for some reason I started off on the, on the right and worked towards the left, not too sure why, but it is what it is. I designed the demon from getting a few different ideas of uh, other demons so I got a whole bunch of different photos like reference photos and sort of compiled them into one and um, just made this image. Now for the soldiers I, I build uh, models every now and then like 1 to 35 scale and I had a few Russian or well, Soviet World War II uh, soldiers so I picked out the best ones that will suit the painting that I wanted and placed them in a position where they're going to be firing upon the demon and pretty much just copied them. Took a photo and then copied from the photo. I'll put a photo in here so you can see what I mean. There we go. The idea for this painting came from <coughs> listening to a few <laughs> uh, black metal albums on YouTube and I saw the album covers and I thought hey they look pretty cool. Um, and I got inspired to paint something very similar. Uh, I'll put the first one here so you can have a look. And so I got the idea for the skyline from this one and with the birds hanging around that, that glowing sun in the background, that faint sun. And um, there's another one that I saw with the soldier firing down above the clouds from a mountain. And uh, yeah, I'll put that in here so you can have a look. And you know, I thought I'll, I could put sort of two and two together and come up with my own idea. And yeah, it, honestly, it just originated from that. Sometimes it happens quite easily, and yeah, you just go with it. So here I'm using masking fluid. Um, you just paint it on. It dries very quick, so you kind of have to work with it pretty fast. And um, so yeah, you let it dry before you before you start doing any actual painting. And what it does is it just leaves what you want in the foreground to be left white. That way you don't contaminate any foreground with your background colours. I find with watercolours you kind of have to work pretty quickly so I always like to keep my foreground images very white and crisp. And you can see here that I've actually sped the painting up even, even more. Just so you can get through the trees a lot quicker. Uh, when I was editing it, it just took a long time and yeah, it's... Um, it's better just to speed it up a bit more. These little birds are pretty fun to do. I copied the skull from a wine bottle that I that I was drinking. <laughs> it's a it's a red wine, a Shiraz. And yeah, I'll put the photo on here so you can have a look too. The idea of putting a, a demon in the painting actually came from drinking this wine as well. And um, yeah, the bottle looks pretty neat, and uh, I must have got inspired by that too. Now I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because that part took quite a while to do and I attempted to do some cliff faces. Uh, I wasn't really happy with it but in the end it sort of turned out alright by the time I put in the trees which you'll see me do next. Um, kind of like from that album cover that I showed, very similar, kind of wanted some dead black trees in the background just to make it feel a bit more enclosed, a bit more evil so to say, um, creepy really fun to do. always love painting trees, even if they are slightly dead. So you can see how it can actually just go straight over the masking film and it enables me to you know, get, a, get a smooth and consistent line with the trees rather than sort of trying to match up a point from one end to the other, if that makes, if that makes sense. And here I am again trying to replicate the what a cliff face would look like, but tried to go from uh, reference photos but I still couldn't really get it right yeah it's okay still looks all right I'll put some trees in the bit in there anyway soon so it'll kind of go over it and you won't really see it and here I'm doing the path and it's um, I've had to speed it up again because when I was editing it it was um, yeah it just took too long I really wanted to sort of skip ahead but I kind of want to show you guys at the same time the whole process of doing it Now here I'm going to be starting the next set of trees which is going to be going to be a little bit bigger 
um, they'll be in behind the soldiers and with this one I'll also add in some highlights just to break it up between the background the trees in the background and here comes the fun part it's always fun peeling this off sometimes it's actually quite a um, it's a bit of a struggle because you'll take the paper off sometimes so you know you'll spend this whole time doing a really good background and then you'll peel off the masking tape uh, masking fluid sorry and yeah you'll rip the paper and disaster sucks when that happens but I was quite lucky this time um, I found that yeah if you just take your time do it really slowly um, you won't have any problems first stage of painting the soldiers here I always like to just do the whole whole solid color on the on the subject and then go back and start adding the final detail afterwards And once again, just sort of getting reference from the photos that I took of my um, 1 to 35 scale Soviet soldiers. Now you really start to see it come to life with all those little fine details. Um, yeah, especially once you start adding in shadows from the helmets and yeah, all that other kind of stuff. I couldn't really see much fine detail from the photos on the rifles, so I, will, I just googled um, World War II Soviet soldier rifles and found the ones that we were using on the models and yeah, just copied them. Well, not copied, but uh, got, reference for, got references from those. I was wondering whether I should skip any of these steps like completely but I thought oh, I'll just leave it all in here just so you can see the entire process and if you um, want to go to the end you feel free to do so but um, and yeah also if you think that I should shorten my videos just let me know in the comments tell me what you think uh, what I could do better any, any feedback is uh, always greatly appreciated you know, just added in some darker darker shadows just to make it stand out a bit more and uh, the highlights more highlights I find that often the first coat soaks into the paper quite a lot so you kind of have to go over it again anyway just to make it a bit more brighter and yeah the soldiers are pretty much almost done just adding in the last little bits of detail on the soldiers and the hands and the rifle and now the fun part although it's all pretty fun but I guess this was the most fun part for me I couldn't really decide on the color I was thinking about gray or like a really dark reddish gray but I decided just to go pretty much red I don't know thought it was appropriate um, that's kind of why I had the glowing, uh, the glowing red in the background. It all sort of works together quite well. It's always a little bit difficult deciding which colours you want to do, what will look good. You just don't really know. I mean, you can have a, a fair idea in your mind, but you don't really. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't anyway. I don't really know exactly what it's going to be like. I have a fair picture in my mind. Um, with this one it was kind of like this but it kind of changed along the way in terms of colors almost done here and you can see that adding the blacker and the eyes and um, all the other shadow marks <clears throat> it really starts to bring it out a bit more and gives it some more depth adding some highlights and now for the final bit which is the uh, trees in the foreground just to bring it all in a bit more and yeah you can see you can kind of see what I was meaning before how the cliff faces are a little bit more hidden now I guess I better do some more research into how to do cliff faces properly if I'm going to be doing another one and here we are uh, whole thing is done. So yeah, this one took me 16 hours to complete and a 10 minute video and if you'd like to 
ask any questions about the process or you have any feedback it would be greatly appreciated and um, yeah thanks for watching really appreciate it all right bye everyone <laughs>